no surprise here that Biden is against the ICC's push for an arrest warrant against Bibi Netanyahu. Uh, Biden is going to defend Israel and Bibi no matter what they do, even to the point of genocide denial. To President Biden lashing out at the International Criminal Court as it seeks arrest warrant for top Israeli officials, including Prime Minister Netanyahu, for alleged crimes against humanity. Our chief White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, has more. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Well, President Biden has made clear he has some reservations about how Israel is handling this war. He wishes Netanyahu would take a more targeted approach. But this morning, President Biden is fiercely defending the prime minister adamant there is no equivalence between Israel's conduct and that of Hamas and calling the application for Netanyahu's war arrest outrageous. This morning, President Biden rallying to Israel's defense in blunt terms. What's happening is not genocide. We reject that. Yet he was willing to uh, say what Putin is doing is a genocide against uh, Ukrainians, yet the death toll for civilians there is nowhere near the amount of civilians killed in Gaza and nowhere near the amount of people starving in Gaza. Uh, what, like there's been a total of, what, 14 or 20,000 people uh, killed in Ukraine and 34,000, 40,000 civilians killed in Gaza. And you have millions starving and being displaced. It is definitely a genocide. Denying a genocide doesn't change it. We will always stand with Israel and the threats against its security. Biden outraged, denouncing the International Criminal Court as its prosecutor seeks a global arrest warrant for both Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Whatever these warrants may imply, there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. The court's top prosecutor, Karim Khan. Um, putting out arrest warrants for both of them doesn't like equivocate both of them being the same. They're both being charged for both of them committing various war crimes. It's not saying Israel and Hamas are the same, but the Israeli government is definitely using Hamas as a bar for what they can do. Accusing Netanyahu and his defense minister, Yoav Gallant, of deliberately starving Palestinians by choking off aid and deliberately targeting civilians in conflict. The Hamas-run health ministry saying over 35,000 people have been killed. Unfortunately, these crimes continue to this day. Israel, like all states, has the right to defend its population. Those rights, however, do not absolve Israel of its obligations to comply with international humanitarian law. The ICE yeah, and that is true. Um, all groups of people have the right to defend themselves from attacks, but justify the Israeli government and their collective punishment of Palestinians, which they have been doing since October 7th, uh, using collective punishment. Uh, they've been doing that mostly by starvation. And... The Israeli government has been killing civilians. They've been killing aid workers. They've been killing journalists. They've been uh, killing people in UN shelters. Uh, I mean, look at the most recent attack on aid workers where the IDF killed seven aid workers. CC, which investigates and tries individuals accused of the gravest crimes, also charging three senior leaders of Hamas for the October 7th attack that killed roughly 1,200 people and launched the war, accusing them of murder, torture, rape, and hostage taking. Netanyahu calling the charges against him absurd. What a travesty of justice. What a disgrace. And blasting the comparison to Hamas. The ICC has no jurisdiction over Israel. And Mr. Khan's actions will not stop us from waging our just war against Hamas. Okay, who cares if uh, the ICC doesn't have jurisdiction over you? They can still put, put out an arrest warrant. Look at what they did with uh, Putin. Uh, they put an arrest warrant for him, but they don't have jurisdiction over uh, Russia. But the, the number of signatories that have signed on to the ICC means that Putin can't travel to a large part of the world and this will be the same for Netanyahu 
there's like 150 something signatories of the ICC. So those nations can arrest him if he travels to those nations. Now, three judges will decide in the coming weeks whether or not to issue these arrest warrants. And if they do, then Netanyahu could face arrest in any of the nations that are party to the court. Guys, that does not include the U.S., but does include most of Europe. All right, Mary, thank you so much for that. And George, you're going to be speaking to Prime Minister Netanyahu.